Hi everyone, we are here at the DC Gulag. We are about to sing the national anthem with the gentlemen, our political prisoners. It begins our month of August in protest at the DC Gulag because we're tired of our men and women being held in solitary confinement, violating their constitutional rights. Um, uh, today I'm joined by Nicole Reppet, her lovely daughters, and Randy Ireland. We're gonna sing in unison with the prisoners that sing the national anthem every night. So sing with us, God bless America. And we'll be here um, through the month of August. Come join us on the steps of the prison. Enough is enough, let our people go. Let our people go. We see you! Why are you touching somebody? Don't go off the sidewalk, Randy. Get off the sidewalk, please. Don't go off the sidewalk. Sir? I'm a sir, law abiding. I would like we've, to name we've been here 15 and times. We know exactly where we can go. And that man right Dude, there. Dude, you don't get to call the shots. Right you don't get to make up the rules. That man right there just said he's going to go pay the prisoners a visit. Yeah. You're go retaliate. Go, go retaliate. Yeah, I'll make you famous me. tomorrow. Go ahead. Sir. Thank you nicely for your name and badge number. Me? Me? No, no, the man that's not her. The woman smacker. The old lady hitter. Sir, I would like the your name and hitter. badge number. Zoom in on that shit. Your name and badge number, sir. You just hit her phone out of her hand and got into my face. It is on recording. I would like your name and your badge number, please. Sir, it is a matter. You were a public... 
state official. I would like your name and badge number. It is my right to know your name and badge number. I'm calling 911. Yes. Are you, are you, are you recording? Yes, I am. Please call 911 because you were assaulted by a member of the facility here. Uh, my number is Sir, I'm just asking for your name and badge number. May we please have your name and badge number before you pay a visit to the men inside, which you stated you would do? Sir, I would like to know who's going to harass the men inside. Your name and badge number. Name and badge number. I'm sorry, it, it, I'm just asking for something that is required when an assault is to happen. What is it that we're doing wrong? Trespassing, Where? Where's the trespassing sign? This is public property. We've had 15 rallies here. Uh, we, I was not trusting. I don't know I where, are you new? Are you new here? My name is Nicole Reppet, N-I-C-O-L-E. Sir, I need his information. Okay, you can talk to him when they get here. I, I can't wait. Step back. I'm sorry, ma'am. Down the sidewalk, we'll call. Okay. I, I didn't leave the sidewalk. I didn't think. I didn't go past this pole. Actually, um, yes, this is where my ass is. Now, when. <laughs> so, when the guy came and smacked Mickey's phone, where was this guy? Watched. Oh, I would like your name and badge number, sir. We already have it. You see on his shirt? Okay. We already have it. Okay. Uh, he did not mind him getting in my face. I did not get in his face. Nor did you mind him slapping her phone out. I had no control over that. But you didn't mind. You you are causing telling us we are in the wrong. No. We. I, I can't wait. Thank you. On the sidewalk. Ashley Babbitt's mother was just assaulted in front of the jail. And they that just happened. My hand and my that phone. just happened. Inside Edition tomorrow will have a great smack story on this. Physically smacked me. Not I'm only sorry, is the treatment inside this facility no beyond no anything that happens in third world countries. A woman who lost her child while trying to sing the at national anthem in solidarity gets her phone slapped out of her hand. That is the type of treatment that is acceptable in our nation's capital. I'll sit my ass here until I'm removed. What? Where's your child? You said your child was No, my child was murdered. My child was Ashley Babbitt. She was killed in the Capitol on January. On January 6, 2021. So I don't have any hope of getting my child back. But these men are being politically persecuted. Nobody in this country cares. And like I said, I do support law enforcement, but I support honest, God fearing law enforcement, not Nancy Pelosi's henchmen, which is what the Capitol Police are. Until they murdered my child, I had no idea they operate with impunity and they're not a police force. They're a separate arm of Congress. They answer to no one but, but themselves. Not like you. If you fuck up, somebody's got your badge, number, your name. You know, the man that murdered my daughter that, left his I've weapon in a public restaurant that, two so years we, ago. So we, we also had a prior excessive use of force. And, and instead of not being there to kill my kid, he was there to kill my kid because Capitol Police operated that way. I had no idea until they killed my daughter. You almost that got it. Is almost. really hating you. <laughs> uh, we, we really did ask just so we could file a correct complaint. Yeah, so Because I know we, they're going to go take it out on her husband right now. We're about to give that, um, we're about to give that information for you. I appreciate Thank that. You. They informed me that y'all couldn't go where y'all were standing at, down there, because of what they have on that side, the fact that y'all were riling up the inmates. Um, so they say most of the time when protesters come, they stand on the main street part. So I informed them that all of this is considered public space because it's not gated or closed off. So because of that opening right there is what makes everything before the building public space. And if they, regardless of what they have on there, regardless of the inmates being riled up, if what they have is an issue and they don't want the public, they have to put some kind of gate or some kind of enclosure, you know, to, 
make the line of the public Fair. access point right. and what's not considered public space. Right. Um, so, like I told them, regardless of how many protesters came and they stood up there, that don't mean that that's where they had to stop. That's just where they stopped for whatever reason. Okay. And they might have asked. Well, the one thing I can say, I've been here for at least 10 different rallies that we've had, mm -hmm. candlelight vigils and that kind of thing. And it's always right here. We always have a stage here and the people are in here. Right. So them saying that they're up by the street is bullshit. Okay, so. Be now that, I'm just that, saying. Be that as it may. Exactly. I informed them. Regardless of, and I use the example, you were worried about them riling up the inmates on that side for the sake of conversation. Let's say, I don't know how I set up inside the jail, but let's say they was in the front of the building and riling up them inmates. That's irrelevant because you can't make a move because they're riling up the inmates. So you gotta have policies, you gotta have some kind of security in place to stop public right. to at whatever point you want them. But if there's no point such as a gate, fence, or anything to close off a section such as I got the walls, that's the stop point because if an inmate cross that, they just escape jail. And, you know, so long story short, so I've asked them that. So technically, you can be anywhere outside of the walls. Unless they put up a gate tomorrow and then stay on the other side of it, unless you want to be permanently on the other side. Correct. Got it. And I appreciate other, that. Other than that, I mean, outside of, like I said, the DC noise at night, which is on a weekday, 10 o'clock. More than helpful. Um, just after that, they can say you're being too loud, but that's more so if you yelling you know got a, a megaphone and stuff right. like that then right. that's when it becomes an issue if it's after 10 on a weekday after 11 on the weekend <laughs> but other than that you're technically able to be wherever you want to be oh i'm sorry so also i spoke with the sergeant franklin <laughs> so his thing was that so i'm just saying it's one side if you take action to stop someone from recording you and you know, hey, get the camera on my face, that type of action. On the other side, it's a self-defense aspect where a person is aggressively putting the phone in your face and you he just- came to me. No, 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 I'm just I saying. Hate, I get it, but he and did come to me. So his yeah. side of it was that it wasn't that he was being recorded, it was you kept running up in his face, pushing the phone in his face, so he more so- So he more she so- She was recording him being aggressive towards me. So he more so knocked the phone out of his face that's that's his version. I got it. You know, so I kind of expected it to be. Now, but that's not what happened. Where it happened at? I mean, it's a camera right there. There is well a camera right Yay! there. The officer Hauser, H A U S S E R, which is the uh, the, the white female? one right there. Oh, okay. Um, that has a body camera. So if you need, you can put in a FOIA request. You know, for the video at this date and time, and put a FOIA request in for Officer Hauser's body cam footage to be able to show <coughs> whatever. Because your phone, it just shows the aftermath when I you picked it. it up. I know, because <laughs> I saw it. But, it, you know, but he did, he, he walked to us, just so, I know, everybody got a different side of the thing, but, you know, I know, you mind shaking my hand? Are you good? God bless you. God likewise, bless you. Likewise. Thank you so much. Now, we appreciate, appreciate y'all's time.